Are Shea Weber and Ben Sherratt up to the task as the number one defensive pair against the Penguins? They're, they're going to have to be. I mean, those are the, the, the two big guys that uh, have to get the job done. They, uh, you know, they have a big challenge. They're going to be dealing with a, a lot of speed with Pittsburgh. They're going to be dealing with a lot of uh, good, skilled guys. But, I mean, let's face it, uh, these guys are effective when they're uh, playing at their best, and they're going to realize that they're going to get plenty of opportunity to be you know, used in key situations. And I think they've shown previously that they're able to handle it, and uh, they better be ready. I was going to say, if you if it's not them, then who? You know, if you look around that blue line, it's pretty thin. You're facing a Pittsburgh Penguins team that is pretty offensive, so it has to be those two players that uh, have to rise to the occasion. I, I think they can. I mean, Ben Sherratt really impressed me this season. He struggled. He really had a hard time at first when he came here. You sort of wonder, oh, is this another Carl Alsner type situation? But he just got better and better and better. And the more, more bigger role Ho Julien gave him, the better he played. And I like the way he plays with Weber. He's, he's Sherratt's a big athletic guy. I mean, just when you see him in the locker room, he's he's, he's an athlete. He could have played any sport. I think uh, would have put him in. He would have been good at. It. I know he played football a bit as a kid. His grandfather won a great cup. Uh, so I think he's a, he's a, he's, a, he's mobile enough, he's athletic enough, and they're two big, strong guys that aren't going to be fun to play against. I mean, they hit, they're 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 good at using their stick in front of the net, uh, and I think I, I'm really looking forward to seeing them. I think they can do the job. I think from the fact they're both going to be 100% rested, uh, no injuries and whatnot. Uh, you know, nobody can totally shut down Sidney Crosby. I mean, he's going to do his thing, but uh, it's going to be interesting to watch. And again, I, I just think the physicality uh, that Sherrod has and the athleticism he has and his ability to move around uh, will work well for or can work well against the, against the Penguins. And, and I think those those two guys, we didn't talk about special teams, but those two guys, uh, whether Sherrod on the penalty kill and, and Weber, but power play, power play and, and penalty killing are going to be very, very key in the success of uh, any team in playoff situations. And these guys are going to have to be uh, very effective in shutting down a very skilled Pittsburgh Penguin team and, uh, you know, finding ways to, uh, to you know, shore up their, their penalty killing situation. And on the other side, uh, with Shea uh, uh, chipping in like he has before on the power play and uh, can make the difference between uh, them out of uh, the series or advancing. Well, we saw training camp this week. Weber took a little half slap shot and hit Michael McNiven in the mask and cut him open underneath, almost knocked him out. And that was a half slap shot. So that bomb from the point from Weber is not fun for anybody to stand in front of, including the goalie. It's just ask Michael McNiven. All right, go to hockeyinsideout.com now and check out this week's full episode.